The beat go off? Hey. Hey, I up it, then my heat go off? Bang. If y'all want that Densky certified content, be sure to hit that sub button and follow me on Twitter. So yesterday I put a poll on Twitter to see if y'all wanted me to drop that new secret game baking glitch. And 93% of y'all out of about 1,500 and counting said yes. Now this is the old video in which I mentioned it, but I hadn't seen it yet so I didn't understand how it worked or it, nor did I know screen. how it's supposed to work. Internet. Right here, there's a free throw script, perfect shot script. So different scripts you can run on 2K to do different things if you have different fun from green lights to free throws. Now shout out to my boy YT Strong Gaber because he helped me get the clips. And shout out to T Money, man. Go follow him on Twitter, bro. We're going to have a lot of stuff coming to y'all, bro. It's going to go real crazy. But as you can see here, this is what y'all voted for. This is what y'all wanted to see. As you can see, we're getting straight green lights just by tapping the button. Automatic green jump shot glitch but you're gonna be getting automatic greens just by the press of a button and it does work in the park it does work in my career from what i've been told now as you can see this is the park this is the free throw tournament excellent 81 rating and he still made 50 in a row can y'all imagine going to the park or the wreck and just getting straight green lights now can y'all imagine going to the mob park and getting pretty much straight greens because the release is basically memorized by a controller button after you get a green and it's recorded to another button. So pretty much if you're in a certain spot of the floor shooting threes, you'd get the best release possible every time. Now obviously if you're shooting in people's face in the park, every shot not going to go in. But if you get space and you get open and you do that, it's going to be pretty much green every single time as long as the game allows the release to turn green it will be getting a maximum perfect release depending on where you shoot from of course because if you think about it if you get a, a green release from three that might not be a green release for mid-range that won't be a layup but the threes will be banging if you put it on the jump shots the jump shots will be greening and if you put it on layups or dunks or whatever you'll get the highest layups and dunk release you could possibly get now I have thought about the potentially maybe you could put all the releases on separate buttons which would make it go super crazy and you'd basically just be able to hit a button and get a green light from any spot as long as you're open. That would be crazy and then you got the people in wreck. Y'all know how people shoot threes crazy in wreck. That would be ridiculous. Now, like I said, if everybody was shooting like that, people would rep up and get badges so much faster, bro. It would make that game so much easier for everybody that has it but it still could potentially be a nightmare for the people that don't now this is probably that happened to a lot of y'all already and y'all didn't even know y'all know how people just come out there and be shooting crazily and just don't be missing shots and then you could win the tournament with it like you the free throw tournament any shooting tournaments are going to be that much more easier my career bro could you imagine how much rep you would be getting because the computer pretty much don't even guard you you could get so much rep and you could do the cap glitch and you would rep up so fast because I know people like to take advantage of the AI in my career to get to 99. That's pretty much how everybody gets to 99. They find the best method to um, do with their archetype. And a lot of archetypes have shooting builds where they have to score to get a lot of points. You know what I'm saying? Now imagine you getting perfect releases the whole game on deep range fadeaway threes or something. Do you know how much rep you would get for that, bro? Now, I'm not saying it would turn green 100% of the time, but it would turn green 100% of the time that 2K allows it to turn green. You'd be getting the best release possible every single time, and you wouldn't even have to worry about changing jump shots. You would no longer have to worry about being patched. The only thing you have to worry about changing the jump shot is if you did change the jump shot, you just have to update the button to match that jump shot timing release so that you can keep getting automatic green lights. Now I was told that if you go into the park, you might have to adjust the timing from time to time because of the latency in the park. And that definitely makes sense because sometimes I know I go into a park and my release feels totally different. And if I don't be greening like I should, I know the latency is different. The latency might be different in that park. That's just how it is. That's a problem that you're not going to avoid on 2K. But to be able to get this in every part, I know people will probably use it to win events. I know people are using it right now. Now, I know some of y'all going to go crazy. Y'all going to be out there with them 80 overall mascots that's not missing, bro. So when y'all ain't getting games, bro, on them mascots, don't say nothing to me, bro, because I can see that happening. And I know some of y'all thought it was an animation glitch, and it's not. I know some of y'all thought it was a demigod glitch. I know some of y'all thought it might be an instant 99 overall glitch. It don't worry, bruh. I got something about that. 
in the works currently right now. We might actually get that, but no. It's a green light jump shot glitch, and that's honestly one of the best glitches you could get. And honestly, if you can do this glitch, it gets even better. But that's just something I'm going to say, because I know a lot of y'all going to want me to show y'all how to do this. And I know people who currently have it working, so I know that they have the scripts and all the information that will help y'all. And I know some of y'all already know what they do, because it's as simple as copying over a file once you get the script. It's cake. But anyways, if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all make sure that like button, hit that sub button, turn on notifications on. Until next time, man. Disky out.